Hi guys and welcome to another FIFA 21 Team of the Season player review and uh, we now move on to the Edivis Team of the Season and it seems to be that Malin is the most kind of marquee uh, player or certainly the most expensive player as part of the Edivis Team of the Season. They cost me 261,000 coins, three games, three goals and one assist. He also has four starting both skill moves and weak foot. Some very nice in-game stats, 99 sprint speed and 98 acceleration, 94 agility, 93 in-game dribbling, 88 strength, 97 finishing, uh, 91 short pass. I had the basic cams that apply to him. Uh, a few player traits as well in flair, outside foot shots, and finally technical dribbler. And uh, and and yeah, and I think we're coming to well, we are coming towards the team of the season now. So this Friday we'll have League One team of the season. I'm guessing next Monday we'll definitely get rest of the world. Do we get the Scottish Premier League as well, or is that part of rest of the world? I'm not too sure. Uh, and then we'll have also a team of the season. And will we have a Euros game mode? We've had it for the World Cup in 2014 and 2018. We've never had a game mode dedicated just to the Euros, but I would love something like that. You know, that would make the whole community so much more happy. It would, you know, give reason a lot more to be able to play the game. They'll definitely do a promo at least, and they'll do like a two or three week promo or something like that, guaranteed. But they gave us a game mode. I would sit there and I'd be loving that. You know, when the Euros is on, you can just sit there and play the Euro game mode as well. You know, it, it technically it, it EA should be doing it because it would generate the money through markets and reasons. You know, um, but I, I find it bizarre that they might not potentially do it. But let's keep our fingers crossed. But anyway, let's focus on this Malin card. Um, yeah, he's fantastic. I mean, his pace is absolutely superb. 98 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. Once he gets past opposition defenders, they are not catching this guy at all. He is so quick on the ball. Um, not even moments Maldini is catching this guy up. Uh, yeah, he's absolutely fantastic. So quick. Uh, you know, it, it allows him just to so easily break through opposition defenders, get into those one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Um, so, so, you know, so his pace is, a, a, it is a great asset to him. I thought his finishing was nice. A good return of three goals in the three matches. Has the outside foot shot tree. Has 97 finishing, 91 positioning, 90 shot power as well. So, uh, so some solid stats around there. Uh, obviously, I had the basic cam star. I've since sold him. And I think with tax, lost maybe five or 6,000 coins. Uh, obviously, I'm trying to sell these cards as quickly as I can. As soon as, like, I've reviewed them, basically, because... I uh, I don't want to lose out too much uh, because I'm I, I'm buying them like only an hour or two after they've been in packs. The prices are so volatile that they can easily decrease very very easily. Like that's what happened with Moriel when I reviewed them on Friday. I lost like two hundred and fifty thousand coins, for example, which was uh, which was pretty unlucky. Or maybe, maybe it was just two hundred thousand. Can't remember. But yeah. Anyway, Malin finishing pace superb. Dribbling as well very nice. Eighty seven vision. Um, so that's on passing, 94 agility, 87 balance, 91 ball control, 93 in-game dribbling. He feels nice and smooth on the way. He's got the four-star skill, which has got the flare trace as well, which is uh, which is very nice. He doesn't feel quite as, as strong as 88. I don't, I'm not saying he's weak. I just don't feel like he personally has 88 strength. Thought his passing was okay. Um, you know, 91 short passing, 87 vision. Got one assist in the three games, which wasn't, um, which wasn't too bad either, to be honest. And... Uh, and yeah, you know, he's a solid player to be able to use, but he's a player that he will decrease in value, like 100%. He is not, I mean, on, on PC, he's almost 400,000 coins. He, he's not staying at that price. Uh, Xbox around 270, 260, 270, and PlayStation, <clears throat> I think it was around 310,000 coins. Now, whilst he's a good card, uh, you know, um, and he's not terrible value for money at that price, this is a card that once we get those upgrade, uh, well, once we get the guarantee pack tomorrow, or I'm assuming we'll get that once we get rewards, and just as we get further on through tonight, this card is, uh, in, in the next 48 hours, he will not be more than 200,000 coins on uh, Xbox or PlayStation or PC. I'm 100% confident of that. Um, I, and I think, you know, a card, if he's to get to under 200,000 coins, I think he becomes very good value for money i just feel like he's a card that yes he's good now but because the prices are so volatile at the moment and he's not and he's not long being put into packs it's a card that doesn't really have his true value yet in terms of market and stuff that you know it needs to be settled over the next few few hours and stuff but um in terms of hours to using game very good cards nice return of four contributions uh, as well in the free games but anyway guys that will finish off this play at review thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys Lisa.